Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Reese and welcome back to another Spiritual Love Jones general energy reading for my beautiful divine feminines. Um, we're going to go ahead and jump right in. Y'all already know this will be general, so just take what resonates and if it does not, leave that shit where it's at, okay? Alrighty, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Y'all, I think I like... <laughs> I don't know, got some black stuff on my nails when I was trying to light the candle. I don't know. I'm going to get a feeling for me anyway, so it's all good. Yeah, let's see what spirit got for y'all, okay? Alright, so we got people look up to you and good news on the way to my feminine. You could be somebody of um, great influence and not even know it. Like, not even know how much people look up to you and admire you. Um, but you do have some good news on the way. It was 111 when I just seen that. So you could be seeing that um, number. This is about to pop out, so I just wanted to see what it was, y'all. So we got change. All right. So change is definitely coming. Um, change could be after you get this good news, whatever that is. So. All right. So we got goddess. That's definitely you, divine feminine. We got I gave you too much energy. Take a break. Answer the phone. Okay, so I feel like um, somebody that you were dealing with, you feel like um, you feel like you gave them like too much too quickly, you know. Um, I feel like you did a lot for this person. Um, just spent like a lot of time thinking about this person, dealing with this person. Whenever they had something going on or whenever they needed something, they would call you, you know, and you were there for them. But it's like they took a lot of your energy and kind of like drained you, you know. Um, so now you're just like taking a break from that person. You're not really focused on that person you're kind of just, you know, focus on yourself, um, focus on change. Um, some of you could have blocked this person or could not be like talking to this person right now because they're telling you to ask the phone. So, um, yeah, they definitely um, haven't heard from you. So we have realizations and we have over everything and everybody. I feel like this is you, Divine Feminine. You're having like a lot of, um, like while you've been taking this break and really just like um, staying to yourself, I feel like, um, because you're kind of like over everything and everybody, as we can see here, but you are to the point where it's like if people in your life aren't serving you any type of purpose, it's like, why am I even dealing with you again? You know, and I feel like with this connection, whoever this person was, and just in general, whether it's like relationships, a job, or family or whatever and it was 444 when I just said that it's just like you're just realizing like if it's not helping me grow if it's not helping me become a better person then I just don't want to deal with it I don't want to 
have that around me. I just, I just don't, I just don't. You're focused on this change that is getting ready to happen in your life or that's happening in your life. A lot of you are, you know, um, I'm getting like moving energy, like getting ready to move or just like, you know, changing things around in your place. Just like, you know, refreshing things. I feel like also you're realizing not only um, this doesn't even have to be a lover, what I'm getting for some of you. This could just be people in general where you just feel like you just gave too much of your energy away to everybody and everything. And it's like people are calling you and, you know, you're not answering the phone. You probably got your phone on Do Not Disturb. It's like, you know, I just need a break from everything right now. Because I'm just realizing, like, I really just been over giving, you know. I just been overdoing it. And I'm tired. That's what I'm getting. So you like, Shh, I'm taking a break. Like, I need a break from all of y'all. I just need to focus on myself, you know. just focus on myself right now anybody that's trying to come at you with anything like calling your phone blowing your phone up asking you to do something asking you to take them somewhere can you do this for me oh i need this da, 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 da. you like look that's not my problem i don't got time for that okay we got pull up so somebody wants you to pull up divine feminine Or either somebody about to pull up on you one. And for those of you, like I said, this could be, you know, lovers, family, friends, job related, whatever. When it comes down to this, you know, over giving your energy and also like just not answering the phone so i feel like a lot of you just aren't answering the phone for nobody you know what i'm saying but for this particular divine feminine who's not answering the phone for your divine masculine he's getting ready to pull up on you if you do not answer the phone like he can't take it um not like being able to get through to you I'm getting like he's wondering like <laughs> what's going on. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, my throat chakra. Yeah, I'm getting like what's going on though. Like why are you not answering the phone? It's like, um, also, I feel like a lot of you guys used to answer the phone for this person. Like, anytime they call you, you answer the phone. So now they're kind of, like, scared. Because they're like, oh, she ain't never not answer my phone call. Lifestyle upgrade, divine feminine. Okay. And that could be, for some of you, the good news that's on the way. You're going to have an entire lifestyle upgrade. Like, you're not going to have to worry about nothing. I'm talking about, like, bills on auto pay, rent paid up. Like, some of y'all are going to be paying y'all rent, like, a month or two in advance. Sometimes, you know, more than that. At least that's how much money you're going to have. You get what I'm saying? 
Like, you're going to be good. You're going to be so happy. I can just feel it. It's like all of that energy that she was giving away to everybody else, all of that, God seen that. And he's getting ready to bless you in a way that you can't even imagine. Like, I can't even tell you how big God is going to bless you. That's how big it is. Like, it's just going to be a whole lifestyle upgrade. Like, you're going to be super straight. That's what I'm hearing. Like, you're going to be super straight. You're not going to have to worry about nothing. All right. So, we got 222. Which is like one of my favorite cards, like, because it just really just talks about having trust and faith, okay? And just knowing that this is going to happen for you. Also, meditating and connecting with your inner self and also connecting with God, you know, and your ancestors and your guardian angels. Um, and that's what you're going to be doing while you're taking this break. And some of you are, like I said, already just cutting people off and just... <clears throat> and just stepping back um my third chakra was trying to get blocked so a lot of y'all could just not be talking to people either just really reflecting and you know like I said realizing a lot of things that's happening in your life you know and how you really want your life to be so you could be seeing 222 as well you know, but know that this good news is on the way for you and God is getting ready to bless you for, you know, the things that you have done, the seeds that you've planted. You just have to trust him and have faith, okay? Oh, whoa. <laughs> This just jumped out, you guys. Child support. Okay. So, what I'm getting is, for some of you guys, um, this is for someone specific, you know, um, a specific divine feminine. If you were trying to get, like, help from, like, your child's father, um, or even if you were just trying to get help with your with your kids in general, like, you know, praying to God, like, God, please bless me with more money so I can, you know, take care of my kids, so I can do this for my kids, so I can take my kids on vacation, you know, so I can provide for my kids. Like, God, I need help because I'm getting, like, single mother energy. You don't have to worry about that. You're going to have money to support your child. Because I'm not getting like this is, you know, some of you could be getting like child support money. You get what I'm saying? But I'm not getting like divine masculine energy from this card. I'm getting like single mother, single mother energy and you're getting ready to get like help with your kids or your kid if you are a mother. Because I feel like you've been working really hard, like trying to raise this child or your kids by yourself. And God seen that. He's like, you know what? And let me tell y'all something too, okay? Now, I'm a mother, you know. I I have a child. And he's 14, okay? That's the only child I have. And I see other women with multiple kids, you know. And I commend you guys because I'm going to tell you something. If God didn't think you could handle those kids he would not have blessed you with those kids if he didn't think that you would be a great mother he would not have blessed you with those beautiful beautiful kids that you have he would not have made you their mother that's something very special to bring a child onto this earth and also to be able to know that god chose you to be a mother god chose you to raise a human being that's a part of this this world this society you know, the universe, things that's, you know, the future. You know what I'm saying? Like, trust me, God got you. And God got you and your kids. You guys are divinely protected. 
you don't have to worry about nothing and i'm getting chills you know what i'm saying like you don't have to worry about nothing when it comes down to your kids you may have been struggling before to like put food on the table and pay the bills and buy clothes for them and you know just do all this at the same time it was just a lot for you but you were still giving to other people even when you didn't have shit you were still giving and giving and giving and that's why a lot of people look up to you because they like dang this girl done been through so much and she just she's still she's still going she still has a kind heart like that's why I said you don't even realize how many people look up to you. This is beautiful. I'm going to end the reading here. This is very beautiful, um, Divine Feminine. Just know that good news is on the way. Changes are getting ready to take place. God is with you. And you have a huge lifestyle upgrade coming. Okay? You're going to be able to really operate out of your goddess energy, like that soft feminine side of you. You're not going to have to worry about nothing at all. Okay. So yeah, that was the reading Divine Feminine. Y'all already know what to do. If it resonated, hit that thumbs up button so we can get out there to more beautiful Divine Feminine so we can keep healing, growing, and glowing. And I will see y'all in my next one. God bless.